Nature is the sort of, it's, I would describe it as the quietest, loud place you'll ever be. It's calm, meditative almost, and it's also harsh and brutal and really unforgiving. Climbing these big peaks has always been about answering a question. Can I do this or can't I? I hate running and I think it's a really important part of my training because I hate it so much. Once you complete it, you know that you can do something that's really hard that you do love. For me, trying to pursue the goal of climbing without supplemental oxygen means climbing to the highest point on Earth under my own power only. My competition is always myself. And I always am in a fight to do better. Failure is such a component of success. It's part of the whole experience. You devote a whole year to just training for one thing, for one day, and so many things can go wrong. Seventy people were critically injured at base camp in a big avalanche that came through. Climbing seemed like the most ridiculous, irrelevant thing to even think about in that moment. And I was really willing to be finished climbing Everest no matter what the answer was to my question of can I do this. If the answer was no, I would accept that, but I wanted to try one more time. When I look at the grand scope of life and the big picture, I do feel that pursuing your passions is worth exposing yourself to some risk. I literally cannot believe that on my fifth try that this actually happened. A huge part about the success is coming home. Reaching a summit and answering the question, I can do this, only lasts for a second. And then I say, what else can I do? AMG, 50 years of driving performance.